So if you remember, this engine is not designed to see boost, but now we're going to make a see boost. So there's things that you have to fix that if they see boost, they're going to um, give you a lot of problems. Let me show you. This was the, the this used to be to the original intake. We need this to still basically um, be to an intake or some form of breather. It cannot be connected to a pressurized source. That includes this, which we, this pipe as well, this little S bend, because they see boost, that's going to pressurize your rock cover and all the oil and, and all that in there. And that's going to pretty much send your diff stick to the afterlife. And um, yeah, I've heard diff sticks can actually launch. So we're going to get a vacuum distribution block. We are going to be tapping it off this. This will go to a breather of some sort. This will go to a breather of some sort. Yes, you can run a catch can if, if you really want. This is a breather I bought heaps cheap on AliExpress. I didn't even think it would even come in. We're going to need these fittings, see? If you got these bodgy stickers, that means you bought it from AliExpress. And this vacuum distribution block was from there as well. We'll just we'll sort this bits out because that distribution block will allow us to basically put on boost gauge, FMU, whatever we want, and there's the, the blocking ports that come with it. So it's future-proofing. And yeah, we'll just go get started because I got work this afternoon. Hello. So I'm thinking, um, I'm gonna take this plastic cover off and see what's underneath here. I think it's the windscreen wiper motor, but I do wanna, basically bolt this up here like that nut and bolt and then we can run the vacuum lines and all that facing downwards because i don't want to put it anywhere that it's in the way but this will keep it looking pretty good and it is aluminium so it's not going to melt it's not like some plastic bodgy thing um so yeah i'm going to get this cover off and yeah we'll, we'll, we'll try to make it as neat and nice as possible i wish i bought a black but it's okay. Um, we'll just use what we got. It was a good idea at the time. Yeah. So it turns out that I have to get rid of the, the wiper, I think. To be able to take this off but we don't need to i just need to see uh, where i can put a nut and bolt so yeah i'm probably going to mount it around here well in here and we're just going to look up here just yeah just a heads up Uh, my apologies for the noise in the background. The, um, the neighbor's cutting his lawn, but I'll show you quickly something here. Now that this thing's mounted, these two sides, we're going to call them the main feed. They have the the, the, um, the biggest, I think it's an 8 mil line. You can basically take this off. They give you two of these and you can pick which way you want the, um, the feed to, um, like left or right, which side it comes in from. I'm going to choose the left side because it's a lot closer to the intake manifold bit that that I need to tap off so I'm gonna block this off but it does look good I think it's a bit mismatched in color you can paint it black I guess um but yeah let's let's quickly wrap that up quick because I don't want to spend too much time on something that's 
hopefully easy because I've had a few um, hard things along the way. So we'll, we'll do pack our wins when we can and soldier on. Now that that's on there, I've decided to use a nice big hose. So if, so if you do need to get to the injectors, it's a lot easier to yank out. First thing I do want to attach is a video pressure switch. Now this thing activates at one piece side. It's a normally closed circuit. So when you see one piece side, you open the circuit. You can use that on a five pin relay if you want to activate something or vice versa. Um, it's in case I need to play around with the oxygen sensors enforcing a, an open loop or getting out of a like a closed loop or whatever future proofing and if not i can basically put a nice light on the, the dash and each time we hit one psi or more it turns on so basically like the old school mr2 superchargers and they had a little supercharger light on dash but regardless i might as well fit this now and if i use it i use it if i don't i lose it but um and then we'll add it to the budget if we do use it so yeah, figures around 30, 50 bucks, 30 to 50. I've got an email for it, so I can always bring that up, the, the invoice. So yeah, we'll just keep pushing ahead and then we'll, we'll, we'll work on the breather hoses. They do give you these to to block the ports you don't need. So we're just going to basically put a few of them in there and make sure that she's sealed so she won't leak. Okay, so now that's all done. I pulled four ports, uh, boost gauge, FMU, fuel regulator, and uh, what was that for? The blower valve. So, so now we're going to deal with the remaining two hoses that we've disconnected. Let me just tell you, rumor has it, this might be a PCV valve, but this is connected to the, the vacuum line um, that used to be connected here. We can't boost running through there. And this used to be connected to the air intake. So you can run this to like a catch can or something. Um, I should have bought a second filter, but I'm just gonna basically put both those hoses into both sides here somehow, put this, Breather somewhere here. Um, if it does fail, I'll know pretty quickly, but it's better to have them vented out than to have them into that into the into the intake manifold because that will be pretty much straight away will fail. And I don't want to tap it to the to the air filter because it's un it's unnecessary because it's under pressurized to start with. So I've run this setup in the past in cars. I just haven't had two of them go into a T. But I'll get a second breather. But for now, I just got to quickly do do that. So at least I know it's done. So when I go for the first drive, I don't I don't forget and then I have big big problems.
and just like that the breather part is done i have gone basically they are both sharing this i've had to get the one from here loop it around because i don't want it to touch the throttle cable but see how it's still nice and loose um and now it's the blow valve time which is which is pretty quick um and then after that i've got to buy some vacuum lines because i actually don't have in here so and they're not that expensive so i'll probably buy a roll of maybe five meters because i'm gonna need a, a lot of it and yeah that's um that's another step done and just like that i don't know In the meantime, I'm going to aim the blow valve that way, um, just because you don't aim it up way. So when you wash the car, if the car is on, it fills up. I can aim it at the battery. But I think this way will make a bit more of an echo, might be a bit more noisy. Um, yeah, just saying, each, each to their own. User, as they say, user makes the choice. There's no real way for this. That's better. And... And on a quick note, they, they give you these adapters and stuff. Don't throw them away because because depending on the vacuum hose you use, they've pretty much um, got you covered. And they've also given you some hose in there. So if you need to make an adapt, for example, a 4 mil, 5 mil hose or, or, or whatever, it's all in there. So that's pretty cool. But the thing about when you buy stuff from China and, and, and it's universal, they either give you too much stuff or too little. In this case, it's a win, and I'll take that. And now that the breather setup's done, how much has it set us back? Now, that was cheap, but it's not looking good budget-wise. I'll show you. Now, vacuum block, 1603 AliExpress. Mini filter, 807 um, AliExpress. Hose is for free because I use the the um the off cuts from the coolant hose because that was 516 slash 8 mil so that that cost me nothing and those hose clamps were two dollars ten that was 2620 now that that takes our total that we have our uh, we have spent to 14 69 and 21 cents that's the issue right there we have only 530 bucks and 79 cents but I'll get to that in a second. As for the swear jar rating, that is 1.5 out of 10 because that was very easy when you compare it to, to, it, to everything else. It was actually nice and um, relaxing. Now, as for the budget, now 530 bucks and 79 cents, saying that the FMU is already 150, I think, 150. I'll, I'll look up the invoice again. And we just got to cut the lines and two hose clamps. I think we're going to go over budget. But now the question is how much? And you don't have to go over budget because I'll show you why. This part killed me the most. Me buying that Hyundai Gets Manifold. No, not the Hyundai Gets, the Hyundai Elantra Manifold. That was $170 extra we didn't have to spend. Um, it was roughly $170. So um, let's see how, how much we go over. And hopefully we end up a bit under 2200 because then i can tell you what to change and you will get it to the 2000 bucks i can lie about the numbers a lot of people do that online they just lie they make it that they did something for 10 bucks i've got all invoices happy to show you you know my, they're all most of them ali express receipts but you, you know this project is to the book to the senses you know but um yeah i i guess we're just going to have to push ahead. I think now we should hit the exhaust, unless I hit the FMU. I'll see. Um, but I do have work, so I'm going to have to bounce. And, um, yeah, it's been a good day. Um, um, actually, we got quite a bit done.